All right, good morning, guys. It is Wednesday, June 22nd, and we'll do some pre-market prep here. So, feeling like a little bit of a bull trap this morning. Take a quick look at the futures. I'll we'll take a look at yesterday's action, and then I will show you guys what I'm seeing here for today. So, for the futures, S&P 500 down about 1.5%. The QQQ futures down closer to 2%. The Russell 2000, the small crap futures down about 1.5%. And then the Big Dowski here, the Big Dowski is, drumroll, down about 1% as well. All right, so the futures are down, but now the big question is, what about yesterday's pop? Pretty good pop there for the market yesterday. You get the gap up, and, you know, granted, we gapped up and we didn't do too much with it, but you did see the gap up, and the market did hold. So the S&Ps were green, the Qs were green, Tesla was up like 11%. So pretty good bounce there yesterday, and you guys will remember from the weekly watchlist video, uh, the video I uploaded on Sunday, we are looking for the potential of a short squeeze here. Now, it's not because we're seeing buy signals. It's not because the market's bullish. We're looking for the short squeeze mainly because we are oversold as hell. And in my book, when you're 8% under the daily 21 EMA, you're a little bit oversold. So going back to uh, you know the weekend video here, we kind of drew up the game plan that if we're going to get the short squeeze, if the bulls are going to take any kind of control here, they need to get 380 plus. Well, you look at like a 30 minute chart yesterday, we get the old gap up. They run it a little bit, but we never broke 380 plus. Now we're getting the gap down this morning, so feels like a little bit of that bull trap. Gap up the market at the open. Anybody who's short is feeling a little bit uncomfortable, but then you're roping in people to buying calls, getting long, then you gap the market down. Trap Central. Trap Central. Trap City, uh, as Tiger would say. So here's the game plan, guys. The most important observation that I made yesterday was we gapped up at the open, and if you look at the big three bars over here, you know, the multi-big three label, there was definitely some progress. You know, good progress across the board. The 15-minute chart canceled out the sell signal. The 30-minute chart canceled out the sell signal. The hourly chart canceled out the sell signal. But from the get-go, the two-hour chart still had the bearish big three bar. Right? Still had the sell signal. So what that means is your daily, your four-hour, your two-hour charts, they still have the structure, they still have the trend and the momentum characteristics of something that wants to trade lower. So in plain English, if I got a sell signal on the two-hour chart, I got to make sure I'm being a little bit cautious here, especially when you gap up into the two-hour 21 with the sell signal. That was basically the end of the road for yesterday's session. And now you're getting the gap down here today. So we'll have to see where things open up. I mean, we're going to open up at, what, 370-ish? Yeah, we'll see how things open up here. But I'm going to leave you guys at the same advice. For the bulls to really take control here, I think you need a couple closes back above 380. Now, in terms of my signals here, before we can get to 380, we got to get through that 2 hour 21 EMA at 375. So, daily sell signal, 4 hour sell signal, 2 hour sell signal, weekly squeeze firing short, all points towards more downside. So, before I'm putting any cash to work here on the idea that we're actually going to see a bit of a push towards the upside, we got to get through 375. So my suggestion is you'd be a little bit cautious getting long under that 2 hour 21 EMA, so long as you have the sell signal. Now, in terms of a bull trap or in terms of a bear trap, you know, it sucks to be involved in any kind of trap in the market. For me, a huge part of avoiding getting in that kind of trouble is just focusing on the buy signal. So you look at like Apple, you look at Tesla, you look at Amazon, pretty big moves there yesterday. But from my perspective, I never got a buy signal anywhere on Apple. We don't have any bullish big three bars on any time frame. So I would not have gotten long Apple. Even Tesla up 10, 11% yesterday. No daily buy signal, no four hour. No buy signals here, so I wouldn't have gotten long. However, then you look at a name like Zoom. And we're going to keep an eye on Zoom here today. But here's a name with a couple of buy signals. You got the bullish big three bar on the hourly, the 30 minute, and the 15 minute. So there's three time frames. You got some bullish trend, some bullish structure. You're trying to look for a couple of the squeezes. However, as good as that might look, Zoom's going to open up around 110, 111. So a good example of even 
you know, even on a setup that has the buy signals, that has the bullish structure, when the market gaps down, you're pretty much going to see that fall apart as well. Uh, another good example here is GameStop. And we're also going to keep a close eye on this today, right? see how things shape up. But GameStop has the bullish big three bars on the two hour all the way down to the 15 minute. So there's four time frames lining up for a push to the upside. But then you get the gap down in the market, and we're looking at GameStop opening up around 136 ish. So the point being here, guys, as far as getting long, even if we're trying to get long in the context of an overall bearish market, at the end of the day, this is the most important chart. When the S&Ps are up 2%, yeah, Zoom is popping, Tesla's popping, everything's popping. And a few of these names, like Zoom, like GameStop, they might pop to the point they start printing out buy signals. But you got to keep in mind, down goes the S&Ps, down goes everything. So that's what I'm seeing this morning, guys. I did want to give you a quick update here on energy, because along with the S&Ps, energy did rally a bit yesterday. But I'm still going to give you the suggestion, do not buy the dip in energy. For now, I think this trend is busted. And I think it's busted as soon as you lose the big three bar. No green bars, nothing on the four hour. You got an hourly sell signal. Not looking all that bullish, nor is natural gas. So natural gas, you basically have that big three bar since March. And with the big three bar, it makes for a good buy. The dip opportunity, it makes for pretty much any... <laughs> it makes for a good long. Kind of regardless of you know how you go about it. But then you lose the signal, and she gets a little bit suspect here. So I think UNG continues to trade lower. And then I want to show you guys crude oil. Because I think crude oil here potentially is the next one to fall apart. No daily buy signal. But then if you look over here, we have the bearish bars. We have the sell signal on a 2-hour, 1-hour, 30-minute, 15-minute chart. So you can bet your ass, if I'm looking to get long, that's not what I'm looking for. Uh, I'm looking for the exact opposite. So crude oil looks a little bit suspect here. Uh, and with that being said, you pull up a chart of USO, no daily buy signal anymore. No four hour, no two hour. You got sell signals on a 30 minute, 15 minute. So energy, natural gas, and now oil, three of the better trends over the last two to three months. Now I think there are a few spots you want to avoid getting long just based on the signals, guys. So, there you have it. Quick pre-market prep here for Wednesday, June 22nd. Quickly to reiterate, bearish monthly structure, bearish weekly structure. You got a weekly squeeze firing short. We have daily sell signals, four-hour sell signals, two-hour sell signals. Monthly chart to the two-hour chart all points towards more downside. So, if the bulls are going to take some control here, the first step is we got to clean up that two hour chart and get through that 375. Then I think you're looking for a few closes back above 380. If the bulls can't do that, if we can't get back above 375, then I think the odds kind of point towards putting in a new low here. So be cautious, guys. We got a few trades going right now. We got a short, a couple of the shorts, I should say, in Rivion. Looking for that bad boy to break down. And then you know, we're going to be patient here today. If the market can rebound, we might look at Zoom, uh, you know, we might look at GameStop for a couple of cheap longs here based on the lower time frames. But we're not going to force the issue. We're going to trade whatever the market has to offer, and we're going to find out what it has to offer in about an hour. So I hope you guys find this helpful. We get the big three bars dropping next month. So if you haven't already, go on ahead and subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll talk to you all in the next video. Trade safe today.